I heartily welcome the registrars, judicial officers, staff members and the security wing of High Court, print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen. On this momentous occasion of the Independence Day of our nation, which is one of the largest democracies in the world, I extend my heartiest wishes to one and all. With the permission of my Lord, Honorable Chief Justice, we may now commence this day of immense pride with one day mataram by staff members of the High Court. I request all please stand up for one day historically celebrate the Independence Day. Now, I request my Lord, the Honorable Chief Justice, Sri Prashant Kumar Mishraji, to hoist the national flag, followed by national anthem and police flag. Text on, 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 आड़ियो चला डाउन लो उन्हें आड़ियो आसन चला डाउन डाउन लो उन्हें आवो को अंडे ये ये पन आंखें इनका तरवाते एक बंद होंगे
चीफ जस्टिस श्री प्रशांत कुमार मिश्रा जी दिहानबल जजेस फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ दिहानबल जजेस लैंड एडवोकेट जनरल लैंड असिस्टेंट सॉलिसिटर जनरल हानबल चेयरमैन बार काउंसिल ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश लैंड पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूटर रिजिस्टर्स ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट सीनियर एडवोकेट्स एंड कोलीग एडवोकेट्स ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स ऑन दिस प्रेस्टीजियस ओकेजन ऑन कंप्लीशन ऑफ 75 इयर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट एंड मोस्ट वाइब्रेंट डेमोक्रेसी it gives me privilege to extend warm wishes and greetings to one and all this day has a special significance as it marks the 76th year of india's independence for which azad ka amrit mahotsav is being celebrated when india won independence 75 years ago many skeptic thought democracy would not survive in india little did they know that roots of democracy were nurtured in the soil in ancient times and even in modern times india was ahead of many western nations in offering franchise to all adults regardless of any distinctions the founding fathers had reposed their faith in the wisdom of people and we the people of india have made india a strong democracy here i quote a saying by sarojini naidu which says 
we want deeper sincerity of motive a greater courage in speech and earnestness in action as we look back to the 75 years of journey of our republic we have reasons to be proud of the considerable distance we have traveled gandhi ji taught us that slow and steady steps in the right direction are preferable to rapid strides in the wrong direction the world looks up at the miracle of india home to the plurality of tradition and at the biggest and most vibrant democracy today our mind is fearless and our head is high in the sky as we breathe freely each and every breath of us holds a high importance in our heart as we know that such generation is the creation of all freedom fighters our constitution neatly summarizes the dreams of those who won the freedom for us in four words justice liberty equality and fraternity we must strive for more equality in an unequal world more justice in unjust circumstances justice has come to encompass a large range of connotations including economic and environmental justice the road ahead is not easy we will have to negotiate many twists and turns but we have the benefit of incomparable guidance it comes us from diverse sources from a vulnerable seers of millennia ago down to the sages and leaders of more recent times in the spirit of unity and diversity we as a nation are following the right course dr b r ambedkar once said so long as you do not achieve social liberty whatever freedom is provided by the law is of no avail to you the prestige of the bar depends on the prestige of the court bar and bench are complementary to each other the common ideal of justice shall be the driving force and the cooperative method shall be the mechanics to reach the ideal no doubt that these circumstances celebrations would bring and instill the enthusiasm of common endeavor to reach the desired goal on this occasion i appeal and make a special request to the honorable chief justice that because of shortage of sufficient staff in the concerned sections advocates advocate clerks and litigant public are facing lot of problem with regard to filing and posting of cases i renew my request again to the honorable chief justice to consider the proposal of increasing the staff let us work together to sustain nurture the faith of common man in justice delivery system and make the temple of justice so strong with this i conclude my speech by recollecting former prime minister lal bahadur shastri ji words the preservation of freedom is not the task of soldiers alone the whole nation has to be strong i wish you all once again a very happy independence day jai hind thank you janakram reddy garu president bar association now may I request sri ganta ramarao garu to deliver his message on the independence day the honorable chief justice sri justice prashant kumar ji मिश्रा जी मिसेस मिश्रा जी ऑनरेबल जजेस इन फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ ऑनरेबल जजेस द लैंड एडवोकेट जनरल श्री राम द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ बार एसोसिएशन जानक राम रेड्डी असिस्टेंट सोशल रनर मिस्टर हरना पब्लिक प्रोसिक्यूशन मिस्टर नागरेड्डी इन द अदर एडवोकेट फ्रेंड्स रिस्टार इन स्टाफ ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट एंड अदर कंसर्न मीडिया फ्रेंड्स एंड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन this is a auspicious occasion every year we celebrate reminding ourselves recollecting ourselves and the we have been enjoying the fruits of the independence it is the occasion to recollect the contribution that was made by our predecessors and also reorient ourselves to enjoy the full fruits of the freedom of course now most of the people are belong to that generation first born in first independent generation 
and they may not uh, know well about the importance of the independence because the sacrifices that were made by our predecessors we, because of which we are able to enjoy the fruits of the freedom. My dear friends, especially proudly, I can proudly claim that our belong, persons belong to our noble profession contributed major portion in attaining the independence. Every alternative leader of independent movement belong to the this noble profession. Right from Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Motilal Nehru, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Prakasham Pantalgar, Madan Mohan Malvi, many, many people we have only illustrated. And they sacrificed everything and they jumped into the movement and become instrumental for attaining the independence to our country. And it is maybe now we are enjoying the fruits of the freedom. We may not be able to sacrifice that much, but at least in saying Santalabam Kontamani, Purla Mel Talpatwani, at least to the extent possible without sacrifice on the personal requirements, do something for the common good, do something to preserve this freedom movement. Each and every person, every citizen, when they are able to enjoy the fruits of this freedom, then we will be achieving the purpose of the this movement that sacrifices that were made by our predecessor. Though the uh, president of India, the post of president of India is uh, occupied by a person belong to the, not only the women, but also belong to the downtrodden category. But still, at the bottom level, still a lot of things to be done. They have to come up and we have to bring them up. When each one of us got equal opportunity and without any inhibitions, when they are able to join with us, move together, come together, work together, then only we will be able to enjoy the real fruits of the freedom. My dear, especially in the three wings of the state, the legislature, executive and judiciary, being a part of this august body, judiciary, it is our duty because we are able to correct and activate or motivate the other wings of the state when this particular organ of the state effectively function. No doubt in my mind, this, in spite of the difficult days of virus and many uh, obstructions that we are there, in effect, equipped the building and um, shortcomings in infrastructure, manpower. In spite of that, this institution proved it to stand to the test of difficult times and able to overcome and able to discharge its functions effectively to reach the common man. My dear friends, especially the advocate friends, we shall be proud that we belong to this particular wing, assisting the judiciary and uh, we need not worry about the other deficiencies uh, with the, when compared to the ca ca sacrifices that were made by our predecessor in this profession, what we are doing is very little. Let us adjust with this and go forward and do our little duty in making this institution vibrant and effective by cooperating with the judiciary and going forward. With this few words again, I take this opportunity to wish a successful because the test five years is not a long period it is a short period when compared with the other uh, countries because exactly the usa got the independence 100 years before we got we got in 1947 they got in 1847 especially incidentally it is in august 1847 they got the freedom therefore we have a long uh, inning long time to uh, work and uh, compete with uh, developed nations. No doubt these 75 years we achieved many things. At the time of independence, when we got the independence, we are short of the food grains. We are not able to uh, self-sustain and we are, de we are forced to depend upon many other countries for supply of the food grains. Now, because of Green Revolution, because of various steps taken by the successive governments, now we are able to achieve the a target of uh, excessive food and uh, excessive supply of food and we are able to supply to other countries who are in need of the food. And uh, not only in the uh, agriculture sector but also industrialization 
and especially infrastructure we are able to do especially the the that technology and the science and technology we are able to compete with the developer countries we are able to launch the space the uh, satellites and we are able to develop the missile technology and they are able to supply to other countries this missile technology and therefore we achieved a lot but had to be achieved is there a lot of uh, things to be done and with this few words once again i uh, congratulate all of you for being and contributing there a valuable uh, thing being part of this institution thank you thank you one and all Thank you, Chairman Bar Council, for your enlightening speech. May I now request Sri Subramanyam Sri Ram, Learned Educate General, High Court of Andhra Pradesh, to deliver his message. My Lords, the Honourable the Chief Justice. Honorable Judges, Family Members of the Honorable Judges, Chairman Bar Council, Mr. Ganta Ramarao, President Bar Association, Janik Ram Reddy, Assistant Solicitor General, Harinath, Public Prosecutor, Nag Reddy, Senior Counsel, Members Bar Council, Registry Officials, Police Missionary and the Advocate Fraternity. Greetings to one and all on completion of 75 years of independence and heralding the 76th. We are celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. The choice of the word Amrit is indigenous and has a significance in the Indian ethos. That being said, it's much better than be reminded of a golden jubilee or a platinum jubilee or a diamond jubilee, incidentally speaking of which, the Queen of England celebrated recently, in the first week of June 2022, the 70th anniversary of accession of Queen of Elizabeth in 1950s. The celebrations happened across all of England's realms. I am glad we are no longer her realm. And that is all that I would be referring to the Queen on the present day. Amrit in Indian ethos is a tool of immortality which resulted from out of the manthan, the churning of the ocean of milk. India's independence and freedom from colonial rule was perhaps both the part and the result of the manthan that continued for over 100 years resulting in the sacrifice and the most solemn of sacrifices of the many known, the unknown, the faceless and those about whom not a pain of praise had been sung. But true with mythology, if we allow the use fact of that manthan, the nectar only to be available to a few amongst us and the venom becomes the partake of the rest of the communities, then truly we would not be in the real sense of the word independent. As the axis of superpower tectonically shifting from west towards the east in the new world order. And as is our ethos, we don't acquire somebody else's, nor do we believe in creeping acquisition of geography as a measure of our presence or our statement of existence as opposed to the creeping acquisitions of the neighboring nations in our immediate vicinity we consistent with our ethos and tradition continue to look inward and repose faith in democracy that is unique on to the 76th birthday we still are looking at many firsts in a manner speaking even today is a, uh, one of the firsts for me as a metaphor. But so long as we rededicate ourselves to achieving whatever we had poised to with inclusive participation, with uh, 
possibility of aspiration being fulfilled within the framework of what we have all sought to achieve. I think we are well on our way to being recognized as one of the modern, free, vibrant, independent nations with a potential of leadership to be shown to the entire world. Mm -hmm. While greeting all of you and taking pride in the fact mm -hmm. that all of us are able to breathe the free air, mm -hmm. that is a result of sacrifice of many of those stalwarts that gave up everything, we'll have to also rededicate ourselves towards ensuring that this free air continues mm -hmm. to flow, to pass on to the next generations mm -hmm. who, without prejudice, mm -hmm. without bias, mm -hmm. without fear, will continue to breathe mm -hmm. and survive. May God bless this country. Thank you very much, Learned Advocate General, for your informative speech. May I now request my Lord Honorable Chief Justice, the Prashant Kumar Mishraji, to give his Lordship's Independence Day message. My esteemed sister and brother judges, Mr. Subhamanyam Sri Ram, Direct Advocate General, Sri Janaki Rami Reddy, President AP High Court Advocates Association, Sri Gantar Amara, Chairman Bar Council of Andhra Pradesh, Shalikan Advocate General, Assistant Solicitor General, Public Prosecutor, Law Officers, all senior advocates, respected members of the bar, officers and staff of the High Court, members of print and electronic media, leading ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I extend my heartiest felicitations and best wishes to all of you on this momentous occasion of 76th Independence Day of our great nation. This was the day when the provisions of the Indian Independence Act 1947, transferring legislative sovereignty to the Indian Constituent Assembly, came into effect. It marked the end of British rule and establishment of a free and independent Indian nation. The Independence Day reminds every Indian about the dawn of a new beginning, the beginning of an era of deliverance from the clutches of British colonialism of more than 200 years. India's gaining of independence was a test with destiny as the struggle for freedom was a long and tiresome one. Witnessing the sacrifices of many freedom fighters irrespective of their caste, creed, sex, reason, religion who sacrificed their lives. Over the last 75 years, India has channeled her civilization, strength and cultural diversity into a brand new future Opportunities for achievement, progress and prosperity for its citizenry, making it an inspiration for the rest of the world. We need to introspect whether the constitutional vision and the aspirations that our founding fathers had for the generations of the future are realized. We are now celebrating the Adadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of independence and the glorious history of its people, culture and achievements. This program is dedicated to the people of India who have played a pivotal role in bringing India this far in this evolutionary journey. Har Ghar Tiranga is a campaign under the aegis of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to encourage people to bring the Tiranga home and to hoist it to mark the 75th years of India's independence. Our relationship with the flag has always been more formal and institutional than personal. Bringing the flag home together as a nation in the 75th years of independence becomes symbolic of not only an act of personal connection to the Tiranga, but also an embodiment of our commitment to nation building. The object behind the initiative is to invoke the feelings of patriotism 
in the hearts of people and to promote awareness about the Indian national flag. To conjoin the two, this Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and Har Ghar Tiranga, what I feel is the nectar of the independence, that is the soul of the independence. The first nectar was our constitution. That was the biggest and the outball of the nectar which the independence and our freedom fighters have provided and gifted and donated us. And then each drop of that nectar, that is the constitutional provisions, each constitutional provision is a drop of the nectar. Each fundamental right is a drop of the nectar. And when every individual in this vibrant democracy enjoys that freedom, that right, that entitlement, then the nectar of independence is spread, is distributed to all of us, all of the citizens. Therefore, we can very easily say that the constitutional nectar of our independence is made available to every individual in this country, every citizen in this country. And we should celebrate, we should not criticize that this is not available to us, that is not available to us. This duties and rights, they go hand by hand. This, when we seek our right for the nectar, we must be ready to struggle for that nectar. Unless we struggle and contribute, we have no right to ask for that nectar. The nectar is available only to those who vouch for the nation, who contribute for the nation building. And it is not that we have to be on the front page of the newspaper to be involved in the nation building activity. It is our own duty from 10.30 to 5 in your workplace that we contribute and we ask for our entitlement of that nature. When we contribute to the nation building by doing our best of what is assigned to us, what work is assigned to us, that is the very theme of the constitutional worshipping of the nation. Worshipping is not achieved only when we go to temples or some religious place. It is the workplace which we worship for worshipping the nation. And that is how we should understand the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa. It is the churning which gave us the nectar. The Amrit Manthan, which happened mythologically thousands and lakhs of years ago, was the Amrit Manthan of freedom struggle. That Amrit Manthan, that churning, gave us this Amrit of Ajadi and the Amrit of democracy and the Amrit nectar of this constitution. And I wish all the constituent of the High Court and this uh, our great nation very, very, very grand good wishes and may God give us the inspiration, the motivation, the zeal and the commitment to serve the institution so that the institution itself, our robust judiciary, contributes to the nation building activity and our flag unfurls high and our head remains high. Thank you so much. Now the staff members of the High Court will sing patriotic songs, Sare Jaha Se Achcha.
सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हम बल बोले ही सुखी के गुल सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा पर्वत वो सबसे ऊंचा हम साया सुमा का पर्वत वो सबसे ऊंचा हम साया सुमा का वो संतरी हमारा वो पासुबा हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा गोदी में खेलती है इसकी हजारों नदिया गोदी में खेलती है इसकी हजारों नदिया गुलशन है जिसके दम से ऋष के जिला हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा मजहब है ही सिखाता आपस में बैल रखना मजहब नहीं सिखाता आपस में बैल रखना हिंदी है हम हिंदी है हम हिंदी है हम वतन है हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सीता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हम बुले सीखे ये गुल सीता हमारा हम बुले सीखी ये गुल सीता हमारा Thank the Honorable Chief Justice for taking personal attention in guiding us for conducting this Independence Day function. We thank all the Honorable Judges and family members for their gracious presence. We also thank the Learned Advocate General, Chairman Bar Council and President AP High Court Advocates Association, Learned Senior Advocates, Advocates, Registrars, Judicial Officers and Staff, Police Personnel, Print and Electronic Media for attending the Independence Day celebration. and making this event a memorable one now it is time for national anthem by the staff members of the high court Permission of my Lord Honourable Chief Justice, mm -hmm. I declare that the flag hoisting ceremony is concluded. Now I request all the dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, to have refreshments arranged inside the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. अपने 